Hi guys, Sam from 3D here. In this video, I would like to show you our update for illustrations library. We are bringing scenes into the illustrations library. Why it is so cool? This is one of the example. This is the galaxy scene. For example, you can delete the background and use only the PNG file and put it on top of your website UI app whenever you want. How cool is that, right? You can use different cameras for the same scene or we have other scenes like this is the second galaxy scene. It's basically different combination of the same elements. We have these scenes. So as you can see, we have the galaxy one. This one is barbecue, right? So you can see this one is nature. Okay, so this is basically two different scenes and we have different cameras and we have city scene here. As you can see, right? It's pretty cool. This is the another city scene where there are three different people sitting on the ground. And this one is basically the, we call it the business scene. You can have different 3D characters in different poses so you can easily reuse them, copy them and so on and so on. So this is like 10 of them. You can see that they have different objects also, but also different poses. So you can turn off, for example, three of them, four of them, and just combine them together and play with the scene, right? So this is the fast preview. And now let's take a look inside the Blender file. Okay, I just opened the Blender file and now you can see what is inside. As I told you, we have different objects inside the scene. Here is the galaxy scene. I will use it as an example, but we have also source file to every scene. Let's change the shading. What is cool about that? One thing is that I can have, I have the generator with the character. What does it mean? It simply means I can change the hair. If I don't like the clothes, I can easily change it. It can be half naked or you can put the t-shirt on top of that, change the short uh, and so on and so on. So generator is inside. This is what you can play with, right? And you can go to object mode, easily change the color so it will match your brand, right? So for example, it can be yellow. If your brand is yellow, you can use this thing. And let's say you have not, you have like yellow and black together. So the cool thing is you can turn off overlays, but the cool thing, another cool thing is that if you, for example, don't like the generator or if you are happy with the, what is here, you can turn off the generator. Here is how. You need to go to object data properties here here and here I click shift and go and unselect toggle visible layer this one so shift click this is how it works so here you can turn on turn off different layers of the character rig the another cool thing is okay I like this scene I would like to put it on top of the web page or the app but I don't like the background or I don't want to use this background this is how easy it is. If I click zero, I will see how it will be rendered, right? So this is cool thing because you can simply in the object mode, I clicked on the object, click G and move the objects, right? So you can move it or you can put him on the, for example, on the stone and he can be like the, right so something like this it can be totally different scene and you can for example if you don't like the treasure i uh, will turn it off or maybe you will turn off uh, the stones and, and so on and so on so this is how fun it is to play with and i really encourage you to to play because you can create your own scene on top of this one thing what is important to mention is that we have different cameras in every scene here is camera one but if i click this is the active camera but if i click here on the camera two i see that the camera is in different position the cool thing is that you can always change them if i click g you can just move with them right so i'm just moving with them and this is how you can easily render the same scene in different 
views. If we are talking about the camera, one thing is important to mention. We are using depth of field. It actually means that I can focus on the part of the scene. In our case, I will I will jump and I will focus on the character. If I click here, now it's focused on the character. If I want to focus on something else, for example, the treasury here, now we can see that the, its character is slightly blurred, but the treasury is focused. In our case, we want to have the focus character. So this is important because if you move the camera, you always need to focus uh, the camera correctly or you can just turn off depth of field. But I think it looks pretty cool. Also, if you go here, you have different uh, settings for the camera and it can be pretty fun to play with. Another cool thing what I want to sh show you is that you can easily combine and you can add different characters inside the scene. So let's, for example, see the scene uh, from the city where we have two, two different characters. Also, if we are talking about the generator, the same thing applies here. So if I click shift and go to uh, this layer, I can turn on the generator. It means that I can easily customize the character inside this pose, right? So this is pretty cool. If I want to have, I want to create my own pose, yeah, definitely I can go to pose mode and play with the bones and create a, uh, my own pose, which is again, pretty cool. Or you can just copy and paste the pose from different files. So the cool thing is that I can go to append and for example, I really like the guy from the galaxy scene or I like the kids or elders or just the pet. I can find the file and I can import them here. So let's take a look. I will go to galaxy scene and I want to import mail, right? So I imported the mail and now I have imported the guy. So I have multiple characters inside one scene. This one is like running away. I don't know, it can be like this guy is just running away. If I want to turn off again the generator, I can turn it on here, right? So this is pretty cool. So I have different characters inside the scene. The same applied for the dogs, elders, kids, and all of them. You just need to paint the whole collection. One thing what I wanted to mention is the simplify inside the render properties. If I turn on or turn off simplify, basically I see the working time is pretty, it's much slower. Also, if I want to play with the character and so on. So I'm applying for now the simplify and, and as you can see that is like changing the structure of the polygons. But for now it's okay, I don't need to, to be that precise, so simplify is working pretty nicely for me. Also the other thing, you can append also the lights, cameras, objects, you can append anything from the scenes and you can combine the scenes and play with them. Right, so this is pretty powerful. Also you can go take the animals, take the icons and you can plug, for example, the beer from the icons to and whatever you want to. The last thing what I wanted to mention is I will just quickly go uh, from Blender to Figma, for example, to just show you that how you can customize the scene and how funny it can be, right? So let's go. For example, I want to take this character and I want to put it on this planet, right? So he will be on the planet and I want to put it in the, for example, on some scene, uh, in some hero image and I can just reuse them in Figma. So let's go. This is what I forget to do, is that I just move the objects, but I forget to focus uh, the character. And also I see that I did a little bit wrong position, so I will redo it. I will just make the planet a little bit bigger. I will customize the character.
Okay, let's jump to the Figma. One thing what I want to add here also from the blender is I would like to add little asteroids here or something what will feel what will add little atmosphere here. So let's go. Okay, so this is super fast preview how it can look like when you grab the things from Blender and instantly put to Figma. The cool thing is that you can play with that, you can build any scene you want to. This can be, for example, the part of your presentation or you can go to social media and so on and so on. So you can easily uh, change the text, maybe this will be part of your branding or... The idea here is that you can grab simple elements and use them together to create something cool, something what you will like or your clients or your users or customers. Okay, so that's it. This is just a rough idea how you can use Blender and import things from Blender. To f the other cool thing is that you can continue with this design pretty easily you can grab the illustration change the clothes uh, put it on the asteroid or maybe it can sit on the asteroid with the notebook and you can have different section uh, with the illustrations library so i think this is extremely powerful because like in 10 20 minutes you can have something cool and you can play with that you can launch your product and have pretty pretty nice design uh, using 3d which is pretty cool because it always it's niche to create a 3d is much harder than 2d and also it's uh, not that many people are using 3d on their website so definitely this is something like you can use to differentiate yourself so let's go there if you have any question reach out to me at samuel 3d.design if you want to learn more about illustrations library go to illustrations.design if you want to learn more about our 3D libraries or you want to order custom service, or for example, some design like UI or whatever design you want to, definitely go to 3D.design. Have a great day. Stay creative. Bye.